Hey everybody, welcome back to Pixel Junkies. This is the Pixel Junkies podcast, episode 120. I'm one of it your hosts, Rory DC. 120. It's a loud bird. I'm bird? Aaron. That's not a bird. That is a vehicle that is stopping. That was absolutely a bird, Rory. I thought it was a. I thought it was a smoke detector going off. We're gonna nope. hear that back on the audio, and it's gonna be very clearly. You will, because we got to use the feces mic this week, because we got a guest. Oh yeah. And uh, it's uh, we're not using. Well, I guess we are using it because you're here, but it's not your fault, Tandy. It's we don't have money. Yeah. Uh, also, his name's Sandy. Ah. You may notice. You may remember him from another podcast we did at some point back in yeah. October. But he was also really small on that because there was five people on that, yeah, and the camera was Adam purple far away. All oh, shit. That was Adam's birthday event. It was. At we went to uh, winging it. Yeah, Aaron, I thought Aaron was going to kill me. His birthday. Uh. Well, well you, you know, yeah, like you maybe consult <laughs> the guy who does everything before you invite people. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that's fine. It's also like the time where I forgot to, to copy over the audio, apparently, oh, okay. so I had to come back the next day. Uh, yeah. And how do I do stuff? Yeah. I gotta preface, we're playing Hellion. <laughs> what the fuck was that noise? It's a space game. I gotta game. do something. <laughs> I had a thing in my throat. It's a space game? Was it's a no, space game. No, no, worry, it's worry. It's a space game! <laughs> space, yeah. Oh, alright, I'm taking this. How do I, uh... Oh, okay. Oh, there it goes. Whatever that poster was. It's a good thing was. you took it off and took the time to fold it up. So, uh, nothing, it. nothing, nothing really happened this week. Really. Nope. No, we're kind of in the summer drought now. Yeah. Of, um... So get hyped, because this is going to be a great podcast. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a lot of speculation <laughs> oh. about the Death Note movie. Oh. There's so, no gravity unless you're it. Thomas, you might want to just click to the next video. <laughs> hey, Thomas. <laughs> There's no gravity here. What's good? I'm surprised there was gravity in the last one. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I turned it on. That's good. I'm glad the gravity is just something you can turn on with a button. That's how it works in Star Wars. Yeah, but you can't judge oh. other games by Star other universes by Star Wars. You got it like a talking This isn't an now. other game. This is the game that we're playing. The Muppets. <laughs> no, you're thinking of Yoda. That's right. He's not a frog. Sure he is. He's got hair. He's got ears. They don't know. They don't know what race Yoda is, right? No, like they don't know. Equipped. That's they just true. Call him the Yoda race. Yeah, that I is absolutely I don't think you true. equipped it. So I think he's some sort of like know. Dagobah frog. I think he's. Well, he didn't come from Dagobah. From Dagobah. I think frogs are evolved from Yoda. Well, it did happen a long That's time. That's my retcon. The frogs don't exist in Star Wars. Did Yoda have kids? Actually, they probably do on Dagobah. There's, uh, a... there's frogs that exist on the, on Tatooine because Jabba the Hutt eats a couple of them. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, those aren't frogs, though. And then there was that one creature in the extended cut of Episode 6 where it's an outside shot of Jabba's palace and you see this little thing like, No! 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 And then like the thing, like the big thing, like sticks his tongue out like, and eats it. I remember that. Yeah, oh. thanks George again for that. This is going to be a George Lucas bashing centric, heavy centric podcast. Is it? Week. Why is that? Because we'll fuck him. Oh, okay. If I'm I honest. like George Lucas. Really though? Yeah. Why? Because I like, like his movies? I would... What justification do I need to like a director? Well, <laughs> well, do you like him now, or do you like old George Lucas? I like all of the Star Wars films. So okay, did you like? How I liked him you... up till w- w- when was the last one that Episode he had anything five. to do with? Episode movies? three. Uh, it came out two thousand five. So two thousand five. Okay, so I like whatever two thousand and five and before that George Lucas. All right. I always pronounce it What's curse it? kind of, or whatever. You didn't like episode uh, three? No, I said 2005 and before. Yes, I liked episode three. Oh. How is this so hard to understand? I like the Star Wars movies. I think you said not after. Like what, you like? what? Which movie did you like? All of the Star Wars films. Including episode three? Yes. Okay. Including episode two? <laughs> I even liked Rogue One. Including that's all not, of that's not a good dog. <laughs> I even liked Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> Episode 2 was great, but man, I had to struggle through Rogue One. <laughs> I think that's what George Lucas's review on fucking Melon Rotten Tomatoes. Not as good as Episode 2. No mention of sand at all. They were on a beach and it didn't come up once. Where was Jar Jar? <laughs> but we do have topics on the topic list, if you can believe it. Yeah. Um... Can we talk about the thing that's going to make me rage out something solid here? Okay, sure. What is it? Uh, the that one character in Death Note is going to be black because that matters for some reason. Oh god! So okay, so, so we're just going to talk about this right away. So the Death Note. So if you don't know anything about Death Note, it's a, it's a an, an anime originally. Well, it was a manga, and then it was an anime, uh, and 
It's gonna be an interesting it, conversation. And then it was like a then like there was a movie of it. There was a live action movie. No, it isn't. Oh good. man. Um, and now Bounce and Betty. There's like there's a Netflix original film. It's like a Western version of Jupiter. Death Note, right? Yeah, it's Jupiter. So it's yeah. not set in Japan, and no, the characters are not Japanese. The uh, There's another was there example of whitewashing character. Japanese anime. There might be oh, yeah, there might be a Japanese character in the movie, but like the two like neither Light nor L yeah. yeah are Japanese. But the like the, Ghost in the, Shell kind the of thing. interesting thing about this in terms of the fan reaction I I've seen is it's not what I expected because I expected a lot of the criticisms to be about the the whitewashing thing, but in fact a lot of the criticisms that I saw from anime fans seem to be about the fact that. L is pale in the anime, and he's black in the movie, which, according to them, totally changes the character, which I think is a, a stretch. To be uh, fair, <laughs> to be fair, to these people, you know, black, you know, some anime fans, they, you know, they, they probably, it would change the character, in, like, like, I can understand that, because it would change the character by making him, you know, dark-skinned, and that means that he's basically just the same. You say to be fair a lot, Adam. <laughs> he wants to be fair. Why does everything and, need to be like, fair? I think, like, like people who want to people want to criticize the whitewashing. That's that's one thing. But like to complain that L is black, I think is it. It, it seems like I gotta be honest. It seems like a stretch to me. I don't. I don't know why they're complaining about that exactly. Also, why I complain that Willem like Dafoe is basically just playing Green Goblin again? <laughs> yeah, really though. The, uh, oh, why depressurizes rule? Uh, do you think at one point in the, in the film he was like, "Ah, Spider Man"? He's like, "No, no, Will, Will." Think about it, it, hero. I do wish. I do. I do still wish that the the film was set in Japan and, and had Japanese characters, but except uh, Willem Dafoe, he should he should always be in it. Well, and I don't even and yeah, I don't that, mind. Yeah. I think L being black is terrific, but like, do it. Light. Do I it. think light should be Japanese. I really do. Like, uh, I prefer that. Oh, you're um, you're you're knackered. But, He's ungoofed. I also activate think, jetpack. Yeah, I'm doing it. Uh, like Are we've seen yep. a lot of bad trailers that turned out to be bad movies, but we've also seen a like lot Mordecai. of the other case. Like how many? Like you remember how bad the trailer for Star Trek Beyond was? Yes. Remember how horrendous that goddamn thing was? That was yes. terrible. Yeah. But Simon Pegg came out and said, "Yeah, guys, this one, this one's on us, but it's, it's actually good, right?" It, exactly. Has yeah. anybody come out and said that for that's not? They have not. But my guess is that, like, I it, it, this could out, be one of those cases. I did think of them coming out and being like, yeah, guys, I know this trailer doesn't look good. It's on us. And just walk, like, gets off from the press conference and goes away. <laughs> the, uh, but the, that note could be good. I mean, I don't think the story lends itself well to a movie. It's I don't even know what the story's about. Because I know vaguely what this anime is about. It's about the, the this death demon dude comes out of nowhere and gives this kid a book and he's like, listen, if, if you write a name in this book, it, that person will die. Yeah. And you can also specify how they die. So if you wanted That's them right. gunshot or like stabbing or jumping off a bridge, that'll happen. Uh-huh. I, I can do it. That's it, yeah. Uh, and, and, but why? Well, the, what do you mean? I don't understand the question. Well, well, one, why does the kid get out of it? And two, why does the dem, why does Wilma okay. Fall get out of it? Well, the kid is like kind of an is egomaniac. He, I was going to say, like the, from the trailer... Having no real knowledge of the original series from the trailer, it seemed like he would be bullied and things like that. He actually in, in the he's it's it's kind of the opposite, uh, uh, but it's the same result. He's an egomaniac in because he's so like successful in the original in the anime at least. Uh, like he's like he's good looking, he's popular, he does really well in school, and he thinks he sort of thinks of himself as almost like this godlike creature, right? So a douchebag. The demon. What does the demon get out of it? He has no choice. He doesn't give him the book. Well, how does he get the book? Uh, it's like it, he he picks it up. It's an accident. Uh, so that's, that seems like a very dangerous thing to be. Why is he bound around. to it then? Why can't he just leave it where it is? Why can't he be like, "Oh man, you're a death god, and I gotta kill people. I'm just gonna leave this book here." Wait, well, he doesn't that go back to that, the whole idea? Who, of who's yeah, he's, he's leaving a book that can kill anybody on the planet just lying around. Well, he doesn't just he loses it, right? Who the the death god? So just it's his book. Oh. It, it's he's supposed to he write lost to kill it? people, and he loses it. Ooh, fucking fire! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like it'd be like the person being like, "It's like all right, Maybe the sure. god of HR is going to come down and say, where's your book?'" Yeah, yeah <laughs> man. I, I mean, well, I'm like, probably... it'd be like tr- like somebody going up to Trump and being like, "All right, sir, where's the nuclear codes?" 
Oh, I lost them. And it's, it Some has been ages Japan since I've seen it, so I might mess up a few people. details. Why don't they just but make like, another book that, like, takes books from people? They got them you there, Rory. <laughs> the, anyways, the point is... Oh, also, I do want to bring up something, though, because there's a really interesting thing to say about things that are animated becoming live action. And I brought this up last night when because we were having a conversation about this last night in our message thread. When, like... You can't always just translate scenes from animated to live action because they look dumb in live action. Like, I, the example I always use is in um, Christmas with the Joker in Batman the Animated Series, right? The Joker gets on the Christmas tree and it's got, like, a rocket at the bottom and he escapes Arkham through, like, steerable, rocket-powered Christmas tree. And, like, that's stupid. It's hard science. And if that was in The Dark Knight, like, he could just Joker jumps on a Christmas tree and it flies away, you'd be like, Worry. this movie's the dumbest what thing What are ever. you talking about? That would have infinitely the, proved an already perfect movie. The, uh, it's a and, good thing they put that ladder there that you can't use. Yeah, it really though. You can. I'm just trying not to fall to my... Okay, oh, I fell down anyway. All the, right. uh, and so, like, what you... Like, I, oh, okay. oh, yeah, there you oh, go. Oh! Seamless! Uh, All right, then. It's so... <laughs> oh, I ate shit. Like a Wolverine. So, oh, man, like, I'm not oh, supposed to be here. Jesus. People who are like, oh, it's different than it is in the anime. Yeah, like, because, like, anime would look dumb sometimes in live Found action. A bug. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be like, uh, you're gonna die. But Death Note's all, Death Note is already a rushed anime. Like, you is feel it? like it should have more of a slow boil than it even does already. And it's, like, what, 32 episodes or whatever? Like, and so in a movie, like, this is gonna be very difficult. Well... I mean, the premise is interesting. I agree. If not particularly, and it is a well, good anime. Yeah, if not particularly well, ex, you know, like in, like with some plot holes. But I mean, which premise doesn't? Like you can poke poke fun at any of the the plot holes of fucking Star Wars, Sword Art Online, or Sword Art Online. <laughs> I don't know. Man, that'd be a great anime to to, to reproduce in live action. I want to see fucking one guy with a harem of hot women. That's the that's the whole show. And then his fucking redheaded idiot friend. And the black dude who sometimes comes around, but he's mainly he mainly works in the kitchen. Don't look into that. Um, but yeah, it's mostly this one. What are you climbing? I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> I'm trying to get off of it. <laughs> off of what? <laughs> so no. what's this game called? I found the bug. Helion. Nurse. Helion. Helion. Yeah, it's okay. it is it is in early oh, access. Helion. Oh no. <laughs> Go <Yeah>. on. <laughs> I know, I know. This is the quality you'd expect from a AAA developer on release. It kind of is. It is collaboration, in space. collaboration with Ubisoft. Is in fact a bug that I cannot get off that ladder, so I'm going to restart. <laughs> All right. Well, Ooh, nailed it. Uh, Which is good because I don't know how to. Okay. Where have you seen the Attack on Titan live action? I couldn't. No. Is I, that a thing? Yeah. Yeah. It's not great. Do they have their dicks out? Mm, the Titans don't have dicks. Oh, that's gay then. <laughs> Isn't the opposite gay? Would that make it not gay? No, I want to see a dude get squat by a massive dong. Uh, like, like the giant would grab yeah, it and do it like that. You, oh, you're going to have to you, you play South Park's Stick of Truth because that actually happens Okay, in there. good. The underpants, one underpants gnome eats shit because a big ball sack comes down and kills him. Cool. Great. Or you could watch, uh, you could you could attempt to rewrite and re, re, uh, remake uh, Transformers 2. So he's like, oh, <coughs> underneath the enemy scrotum. You can actually have John Turturro die there, and that would probably improve the movie by eliminating that useless fuck of a character. Actually, I agree. Who's, who is now also in Transformers Five? They brought back basically Why? everyone from the from the. So the planet is a robot now, or some shit. Oh my god! It's isn't it? it was okay. it Unicron or whatever. Yeah. Is Earth? So uh, I, I don't give a fuck about spoilers for this movie. Just if you want to watch this movie spoiler free, go fuck yourself. Uh, what are you doing watching our podcast? Um, basically. So there was a re- Christ. Proceed. <laughs> Man, it's just Michael Bay come to beat the shit out of me for talking shit about his movie. Um, so there's, there's explosions really good, coming now. There's a really good uh, animated Transformers series called Transformers Prime. Uh, they came out back in like 2010 or 2011, whenever that came out. It was really good, and one of the plot points in that was that Earth was Unicron, that the way that they sealed Unicron away after they beat him is they formed a planet around him that he couldn't escape. And it actually led to some really interesting dilemmas in the show where they had to be like, well, like we gotta kill Unicron, but if we kill Unicron, it'll destroy the Earth. So he's... I, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, 
So Unicron is like he's like alive inside of Earth, but yeah. he can't like get out. No, he's dormant. Like, I thought like, he he's was in, like, the a Earth. So he's not like conscious. No. So he's not like getting really hot with like global warming and stuff like that. No. He's like, damn it, my ice caps. Well, he's in. Well, he's in the core. Like he's like they they they. Oh, like, he's he, hot. Yeah. He forms the core of the planet essentially. In okay, this sure. Show. I mean, right. I know that doesn't make any sense, but at the same time, like but Transformers, it's Transformers. Like, yeah, yeah, fuck I'm with it, yeah. But here's the thing: like in in this show, I don't think Michael like it had a lot of subtlety to it. Like there was a lot of interesting dilemmas. Like, do we destroy Unicron and at the same time kill all the humans? I think Michael Bay is the director I would pick for subtlety. Like just intuitively, like word association. I think that Michael Bay is my first go-to. Also, person. we're seeing I'm, every time I glance at the screen, it's on a loading screen. I don't know what that's. Uh, I'm trying to respawn and start new because all my shit is garbage. But whenever I click respawn. new, it automatically spawns me in the same thing. So I'm gonna not click anything this time because this menu, yeah, apparently is fake. <laughs> Do that. There you go. All right. So yeah, yeah so, so I thought that Unicron was the Earth. I don't know if he is the Earth in the Bay movies, but in the Prime movies, the Earth is like it has surrounded him. I'm pretty sure. I hope he is, and he has some control over the Earth, so he can like. I thought he was dormant. Well, they wake him up. Is the thing is is at the end of the first season, he's just like stuck in this. He's like, no, there's nowhere to go in here. No, (laughs) he starts to to break the Earth apart, trying to get out. (laughs) Oh, okay. Well, in the in the trailer, there's a shot where it, what looks like the Earth is coming apart. And no, that's is, Cybertron. I'm pretty sure. Cyber. Well, it doesn't yeah, look I read like the Cybertron. Wiki, I read Wikipedia's mo- movie. So why is Cybertron coming apart and eating the moon? Uh, because it, it, they they want to use Cybertron to kill uh, Unicron. I don't like. I don't know. But why is it like almost the size of the moon though? Like because auto. Posits is, All right. <laughs> is I don't know. Aaron, you're asking me questions I couldn't possibly give the answer to. I, and I just assumed that uh, it's, it's the it's... same movie five fucking times in a row. It's oh, no. Transformers are on Earth. The Decepticons are are here and they want to take over the Earth and blow it up. Oh, we got to find this ancient alien artifact, the fifth one, and 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 defeat Megatron with it, and and then do the same thing the next four fucking. Does movies. this one also have like Anthony Hopkins or something? It does yeah. because he apparently he That's had a good. parking ticket <laughs> or something he had to pay off. He really liked the script though. Oh yeah, he really liked the paycheck. I think he said that, and you could see the tears start to well up in his eyes. As the, the script. as the as Dolores Wahlberg had that kind of look on his face, had the gun like, to his head. What the fuck? Did you just say that? Okay. Yeah, I'll play with it. I like Not the Wahlberg. actor who doesn't care about this movie. Eh. <laughs> One of the many actors yeah. who doesn't care about this movie. Yeah, I wonder if that girl from the last Avatar is in it, like Chuck Yeagers or whatever his name was. Uh, Katie, eh. Yeager. Katie Yeager's his name. Katie Yeager's daughter, who was fucking awful in the fourth movie. Yeah, I think she's in the next one, isn't she? Oh my god! Hey, they climbed that ladder over there. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go to the ladder. <laughs> Show me that ladder. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm going to watch Transformers Five at some point. Uh, I also read somewhere that Michael $20. Bay has. Uh, he said the next 14 movies are written. What? Yeah, so I got to look that up because I honestly don't believe you. Presumably, somewhere on a, a Kleenex, there's uh, <laughs> Unicron, Cybertron explosions. Oh, uh, Mark I got Wahlberg. it. I got it. It's it's. All written the Autobots down. are on Earth, and then the Decepticons are on Earth, and then there's going to be this alien artifact. They destroy the Chicago, then they destroy Earth. Detroit, then yeah. they destroy uh, and then the Autobots Los Angeles. win, but not totally. Exactly, yeah. Which segues into the next movie, where Fuck that depressurization. Autobots are on Earth, Decepticons are on Earth, mm-hmm. there's an ancient artifact, Decepticons want to take over. Yeah, and... Michael Bay, next, 14... Hours, I don't know what that means. 14 and movies, man. I can't move again. Oh, oh, I know. My jetpack turned off. I need that. Well, well, the first five search results are just explosions. Okay, well, I'm, <laughs> oh, God. I may be breathing, so oh, something's God. confirmed. Michael Bay says that there's 14 future Transformers movies. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Rick. It's going to be Holy great. shit. I don't, Those like, aren't written. That's not what you call that. <laughs> first, first, <laughs> off, the wrong word. first off, Transformers has one of the most like, and one of the you know, a really wide universe with a lot of interesting stories written in it. 
I don't think he can get 14 fucking uh, additional movies. Do you know what's That's great about 20. this, though? There's 19 movies. Michael Bay is going, like, if, if there was, like, the if age. there's a, if there was, like, a, a, a franchise or something that had, like, 14 garbage products and, like, three good ones, you'd be like, that was terrible. Michael Bay is single-handedly going to turn Transformers into the worst thing ever made because the bad things are vastly uh... going to outnumber the good things. No one will even remember Transformers hates- Autocron or whatever do, the fuck. Do you think he hates- The only director to pitch 14 consecutive misses. <laughs> <laughs> do you think... No, Ubi Bowl still Or 16 or whatever. What would it be? 19 movies that are garbage. Oh, jeez. I hope he dies before, like, they all come out and then the studio's like, fucking finally, I'm gonna make any more of these. Um, this one I'm not going to the fifth one, so I hope they stop. Because it's retroactively hurting the Transformers franchise. Everyone's like, ah, oh, Transformers sucks. It's like, no, it doesn't. It's just the Bay films. Transformers is about to suck, though. Yeah. All right, fuck this oh ladder. Oh, my God. I'm just going to eat shit on the floor again. Ugh. Oh, I felt that I... Okay, good. Really? I thought I fell through again. <laughs> We're good. Are we? I don't even know how... Like, I don't even think you can come up with a plot for, like, 14 fucking Mar... Are there even 14 Marvel movies at this point? Planned, I, I, there to- must be. like there total must yes. Be. They have that have come out. That have come out. Well, There's we can do the be. math on this. The Incredible Hulk. Yes. Iron Man. Yeah. Thor. Thor. Iron Captain Man Two. America, I'm not doing this Aven- in any order. Avengers. Uh, um, okay, no. America let's make Jones. let's make our lives a lot easier. Just fucking three count Thor them. movies. Yes. Uh, three, three Captain yeah. America movies. Yes. Um, Captain America. Three, Iron, three Man Iron Man movies. Yes. Two yeah. Avengers yeah. movies. Yes. Yeah. Two Guardians. Two Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Yes. Yeah. And, um... Uh, Ant-Man. Ant-Man. Uh, Ant- Ant-Man and Incredible Hulk. Doctor yeah. Strange. Uh, Doctor, Doctor Strange. Strange. Uh, you can't Spider-Man. He hasn't come out yet. I don't count Spider-Man. Um, yeah, sure. Let's count Spider-Man. So, uh, more than 14, regardless okay. of how you add this up. Maybe, the, uh, is Michael Bay trying to do like a reverse Marvel then, where he's like, I'm going to make so- 19 fucking movies and they're all going to suck. To be fair, I will give Michael Bay this credit. He did reinvent... Some would argue, save the summer blockbuster. It was him. It was Transformers One and Iron Man that really brought back the summer blockbuster, made them very popular. That's why we have summer blockbuster season that begins in fucking February now and stretches on to November. Um, and I, I, I honestly think that he was the one because before then, because before Transformers One came out, there was really no good summer blockbusters that were coming out. They all sucked, and then Transformers came out. And it was, you know, people loved it. People went mad. And then Iron Man came out the next year and everybody was like, oh my god. Like, Tolly was like, we, we gotta make more movies like this. He did incredibly well. And then that started that whole fucking phase. So I will give him that, at the very least. He, he is deserving of that. Um, at the same time, uh, he needs to stop. I agree with the he needs to stop bit. The, um, seeing Michael Bay on stage for that, like, TV presentation that he was doing, is literally the most satisfying thing on the planet. Well, I, 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 well which one is that? He's, so he's supposed to give a presentation about this, like, new TV or something. Oh, yeah, right? the one he walked off? Uh, yeah, and they got, like, the teleprompter, and the teleprompter screwed up. And uh, he, he doesn't know anything about it. Apparently, I guess he didn't read the script beforehand. And he can't even say anything about the TV. So he just sort of stumbles around for a few minutes before leaving. And it's like, you, like you couldn't prepare? It's like that E3, that YouTube Bro, man, like E three. It's like it's the equivalent of that. Need for Speed Outlaws. Yeah, um, thanks Nick for having me on. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, great game. Um, (laughs) Anyway, here's here's Michael Smith going to talk about the game. So welcome on, Nigel. (laughs) (laughs) Here's Mark Selman, so the producer. All right, take it away, Nick. They, uh, <laughs> take it away, Nick. <laughs> yeah, um, another, uh, what else was I gonna say about Michael Bay? Um, did, I, th- I thought it was rumored, and I don't know how true it is, I haven't actually seen a source on the internet, but somebody told me that he wanted to do for... <laughs> 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 You kind of ruined that there, Aaron. Oh, it's, it's, fine. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Sorry, Adam. Go on. Uh, for he, goes. Goes. <laughs> he wanted. He said he wanted to do for to tra- like to tra- like what he did for Transformers. He wants to do to like 
uh, I think he said either uh, the DC Universe or Star... It was something like that. Somebody told Sweet. me. And everybody was like, no! Yeah. <laughs> Keep him away. Nope. They, Keep uh, this man on site. Don't do that. Uh, I don't want him anywhere near... Like, I'll be honest... Pick a franchise that you really love, Rory. Not Tekken. Uh, like a like a like a franchise you can make like like a movie like, out of like just DC <laughs> count like is like a set of franchises is like a universe or do you no. mean like a specific franchise a specific <laughs> franchise so like Batman like Sherlock Holmes okay like yeah. Sherlock Holmes now oh, God, Ma- Michael Bay Sherlock Holmes uh, would be a disaster <laughs> be even way, way worse than Michael Bay Batman yeah the, uh, would it though well like you can't turn Sherlock Holmes like okay Guy Ritchie turned Sherlock it, Holmes into an action movie and kind of pulled it off. The uh, I would argue you did at least with the first one. Well, I was right. I was just about to say yeah, like he, he, like he did a pretty good job of that. But Sherlock Holmes is is not an action hero. All right, let's let's pitch everybody. Everybody think of <laughs> think, this is so stupid. Everybody think of a of a of a franchise or story that Michael Bay oh, could. Michael that you could give the Michael Bay that would absolutely not work with his directing style. Well, mine's definitely got to be Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes saying yeah. what about you? Come back to me. I'll think one more okay. second. I either got to go for something like Jane Eyre, something like something like that Jane Eyre or like a classic novel. Sure, yeah. Um or like uh I I'd, I'd actually love to see him try and do Magic Mike 3 if I'm honest. That would be amazing. Like a, 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 a Just shades of black kind of thing, or a Fifty Shades of Black. <laughs> 50 shades of yeah. black. No, okay. I've changed my answer. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Bay doing the Fifty Shades movies. <laughs> that's that's what I want to see. That'd be explosive. <laughs> Aaron, now uh, what about you? Uh, Michael, a franchise that Michael Bay could redo. Yeah, but that would ruin it. But that would ruin it. He's saying, what is the worst franchise for Michael Bay to do? The one that fits least with his franchise. directorial style. That would be the worst? Yeah. You could also do like, like... Like technically, or I would just like it the least. Like it the least. Probably Star Wars. Fair enough. Yeah, actually, yeah. That'd be kind of almost a fun. I'd like to see him do like a Wes Anderson film. Like fucking like... Wes Anderson. I said Wes Anderson. Is it Wes Anderson? I, well, I Which mean, is a place the one can assume. Then do you want to? The... Uh, <laughs> It's just when Anderson is God, in the West. <laughs> just picturing fucking Ch- like Charlie Channum Tatum or whatever the fuck trying to be be fucking uh, channel. Tatum. Instead of the eyes, it would just be like this kind of like a yeah. That's good. There we go. And then you get T.J. Miller to fucking punch up the fucking humor. Is like be like you know that that ending scene where at, in, in the fistful of, or uh, good the good the bad and the ugly where they're having that showdown that's really like a iconic scene you just have tj miller be like oh, i am getting high on weed here dude ah, blah, blah, blah. i'm awful in almost everything oh, good in deadpool though good in deadpool oh, uh, and he's also good, really good in uh what's that show he's in uh or uh, he was in i i, I it, uh, it's the nerd dudes yeah. and they're making an app or whatever yeah like, uh silicon valley yeah he's good in that yeah he's a good comedian he's also good in the shock top commercial the uh <laughs> No, he's not. That was they're awful. Uh, yeah, um, I yeah, maybe the man. Jesus, what else could he do? Man, Ben Hur. Can you imagine fucking Ben Hur? Did anyone? So did any like real human beings see the new Ben Hur movie? No. Okay, just check. That kind of just faded. One of my favorite <laughs> Family Guy jokes is when they're making fun of Adam Sandler, and they're like, "It's Ben him and Ben her," and Adam Sandler plays both Ben him <laughs> and Ben her. <laughs> He's like, and she's like, "You who boys?" And then like Adam Sandler's like riding the chair. He's like, "Like Ben her? Like what are you doing? Whoa!" And he like trips up. He's like with Rob Schneider. Also, guess who's a fucking anti-vaccinator. I just I, mentioned it, it. Is it Rob Schneider? It is Rob Schneider. Oh, you got it, Roy. Sweet. Yeah. Anti vaccinations. Yeah. And to be fair, I want to take my voice, my advice from American Gigolo Bruce Gigolo, whatever the fuck that was called. <laughs> American <laughs> Gigolo. <laughs> that's the. <laughs> that's what was great. The name of the movie. Uh, it. It. I. I don't know. Big, I don't know. Big Gigolo. Bruce Gigolo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was. It was like noticeably dumb. Uh, I like Bruce Bigelow. That sounds close enough. European uh, Gigolo or something. Gigolo is the word. Yeah, let's oh. move on from this. Uh, I gotta wait for the timer to count down. This is how few topics we have. We're talking about Rob Schneider. 
Uh, so what's this Modern Warfare? Oh my god. Remember, remember when um, Call of Duty Feces came out and it had the Modern Warfare remake as part of it? That's yep. right. And, well, as, and, and, only, and exclusively as part exclusively, of it. Exclusively, yeah. It was, yeah. It was uh, somewhat, someone could say uh, ca- captured or, 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 or locked away in yes. the term. Yeah. Well, now it's available on its own. Yeah. It still costs an obscene amount of money. And even better, the DLC is still not with it, so you have to buy the remastered DLC. Oh my god! Yeah, it's not like it's not a completed. Deal. If you, if, like if you want, they're my... selling the game and then they're selling the old DLC separately for more for than more. the DLC yeah. originally. <laughs> yeah, if you ever want a really good an- uh, analysis of this fucking of this fucking like trend or, or oh, whatever, yeah. Activision's Jim like, Sterling. Jim Sterling does like a twenty minute video on this, and he absolutely tears Activision. Where is apart. that video? Because you mentioned it in a previous video, and I looked for it, and I couldn't find it. It's uh, called a post mortem uh, of um... because you know he's he's some of his stuff is pretty funny. His organization for his videos is awesome. Yeah, so g- just look at his Jimquisition playlist, and it's in but there. on YouTube or on his own on YouTube. YouTube. I couldn't find it. I like I looked for a Call of Duty video and it was Adam's from like six years ago. Think. Yeah, probably. The, um, make sure it was you from mute years and years ago. Oh yeah, yeah. I won't be able to. Uh, I understand it. And I um, be muted. Uh, yeah, so it's now. Yeah, now you can get it separately, which is like, which is better. It's cool, JPEG. Going it's around. better than it was, right? It's still not good. Like this still. It's still just a bad idea. I just don't. I don't get it. I'm sorry. I don't see the need to remaster that game at all. Well, well one, I, like I don't. You know, the debate about like remasters or whatever is is at this point kind of academic to the the argument because whether or not like you agree with remasters and think they're an in- interesting idea or you think they're just a waste of time and money and are, very, are, are like a greedy act. You gotta admit that Activision has done what is already kind of a sh- seen as to be a shady practice and made the absolute worst fucking bungle of it. Yeah. And not only are they releasing a what is it at this point a ten year a nine year old game, they're releasing which a, still looks fine by the way. Uh, which still looks fine. They're releasing a nine year old game. First, they had it shackled with another game. They had to buy the special edition of the first yeah. game, a game that. which was almost certainly going yeah. to be shit. Uh, then they introduced um, uh, microtransactions into a t- nine year old game that didn't have them already, and then they had the audacity to s- resell you the ma- the DLC map packs. Yeah. That should come bundled with yeah, Activision. Exactly. Every other remaster version of any game comes packaged with the DLC yeah. as standard. Skyrim, Bioshock, um, <coughs> the uh, the eighty-seven versions of Skyrim. The, yeah. yeah, yeah. Skyrim's on friggin' everything, but everything you get it on, you get Skyrim. I can't even think like, of, of of. I'm trying to think of another game that doesn't do that, and I can't think of it. Um, like. Christ, they, they even when they re-release like fucking, like even when they re-release stuff like like Resident Evil Four. Yeah, yeah. They do a better job because at least with that, I mean, they have it on like fucking fridges now. I'm pretty sure that game is yeah. ported to so many fucking consoles. But like, at least they do it right then. With some, and also, don't do the Square thing when you re when you when you say you're gonna have a re like a remaster of a game because Square's doing the opposite where they're taking Final Fantasy VII, the game like the most universally beloved game. That they've ever made, and they're turning it into Kingdom Hearts instead of making Kingdom Hearts. Yes. <laughs> so everybody's like, all we want out of you, Square, right now, is Final Fantasy VII remaster and Kingdom Hearts. It's like, okay, so what we're what we're hearing is you want a Final Fantasy VII remaster that's exactly like Kingdom Hearts. No, that's not what we said, Square. What we said was it's too late. It's already in. The, it's already in late stage development. Also, we're cutting it up in the episodes that cost. Forty fucking dollars a piece that you're gonna have to buy. So when you get to that fucking scorpion boss at the end of the first level in the power plant or the Mako plant or whatever the fuck it's called, yeah. another forty fucking dollars to continue the plot. Want to hang out with Barrett and Tifa in the fucking bar? Nah, that's forty oh. dollars. Oh, I'm gone. Nailed it. Ten out of ten. Well, I'm glad. Yeah, you're like Bender in that one episode. You ignored the sign that said, "Please keep your hands and feet inside the ride at all times." Yes, I was on the ramp. Is the ship up there? Like just no, it, it was going turbo fast. It's in hyperspace, it, so it's and gone. I'm not. It's gone. Yeah, You're it's not. like it, it's like the season finale of Firefly. Spoilers, or uh, or that episode of, of Futurama where Bender becomes God and meets God. Yeah, yeah. I, me- I remember that in Firefly where they're like, "Well, the show's canceled, so let's see what hyperspace is like." And they all just ran out to bag of the ship when it was in hyperspace. <laughs> that was a good ending. 
<laughs> That'd be pretty good, actually. <laughs> They just acknowledged the show being canceled. Yeah. We didn't get very far from the gas giant. Although the reflection is massive in my head. All right, well, let's start jetpacking over there. Let's restart that. All the way back to the start. That's fine. It's just going to respawn you there again. In to be fair, we're going to have to do the same thing when Aaron gets stuck on a ladder or so, whatever. So, can I ask a kind of unusual question? What do you do in this fucking game? Uh, you're supposed to go to like asteroids and mine them and stuff. Oh, and man. you can... There's not a lot to do. It's like No Man's Sky, but it takes Aaron, forever. <laughs> Aaron, I gotta be honest with you. I don't really feel comfortable playing any kind of space game anymore now that NASA has officially basically proven that they run child sex orgy camps on Mars. Why would that deter you from playing the sex space games, though? It does. And space being Because I don't, I don't want to be part of NASA's filth. I don't want to be associated with space at all. I'm not following this conversation at all. Okay, so the, <laughs> yeah. so the conversation... Why does is not what? explaining the context to this what? at all. So, Alex Jones... Why does that deter you? It does. <laughs> all right, thanks. So, yeah, Adam, Adam explain what Alex you're talking Jones, about. internet madman idiot, uh, has been insinuating that... Uh, uh, I feel like insinuating uh, is the wrong word. I feel like insinuating makes the same word like gentle. Can we use accusing? Has been accusing, <laughs> has been loudly accusing NASA <laughs> that Na- has been loudly accusing that NASA has been running yeah. these child sex labor camps or whatever on Mars, and mm-hmm. NASA officially came out today and officially denied that they're doing that. Can I just point out that well, enough con- people put them. this person sex on camp TV. confirmed? I know, right? As soon as you deny, you basically prove that it exists. Um, and Rory is entirely correct. Alex he- Jones taught me that I can be on TV. If I want to. Yeah. I can be on CNN if I want. Yeah. They can talk about me when I'm not even there. Like... Get behind me. Or whatever the fuck you yeah, say. Yeah, exactly. Isn't that hyperbole? Didn't, doesn't he also think that like half the people in Congress are pedophiles and the something other half like are that. They're vampire. psychic vampires or something? Yeah, there's... there's are plugged in, <laughs> that are, they're plugged in via the cloud to like the some fucking... Yeah, it's a, from the fallen one that's not of this world. Yeah. These are... They, we're we're picking actual phrases here, by the way. Like we're not just like making up some nonsense. No, we could be. He's making up some. I'd nonsense. like to see. We're you know what I'd like to see Michael Bay do? I'd like to see Michael Bay and Alex Jones team up, and Michael Jones plot a movie, and Michael Bay direct. I like how you say Michael Bay and Alex Jones team up, and then Michael Jones plot a movie, like they fuse and they become Michael Jones. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like in the fucking uh, in the end of the Fly when he like when he's like. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. Uh, talk about the... I guess we can talk about the SNES me. Yes. I'm going to rage out at that. So, remember that th- product that came out a couple of... About, you know, a couple of couple of months ago called... <clears throat> the NES Classic. Yep. I'm doing a Rick and Morty thing, Chuck. Uh, called the NES Classic. And it was like $80 here. And it came with 30 games. And nobody could buy it. Yeah, it was eighty dollars where <laughs> on here. Mars. I think it was. No, it was you eight... couldn't find it. <laughs> no, yeah, it was, it was supposed to be eighty dollars <laughs> here. Uh, Nintendo made eight of them, so nobody could have them. Um, and everybody got real pissed off at Nintendo because they're like, "We want this product." And Nintendo's like, "No, no, no. See, here's the thing: if we don't sell, if we don't sell a lot of of these products, it's going to make them much more desirable." Okay, and then you're going to release a lot after Christmas. No, we won't. We'll just make them really desirable. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks, Nintendo. Also, we're gonna make our our uh, our our new upcoming console. We're gonna give it the ability to cook itself in its own fucking charge station, so it bends the screen and scratches the shit out of it. What was that last part? Oh, nothing. Mario. Woohoo! Um, yeah, that one. Um, and then so, and also Mexico. We're gonna we're gonna come out with this product. It's that that has thirty classic NES games on it for eighty dollars, even though you can get an emulator for them. Um, don't recommend. I'm not advocating that you get an emulator. I'm just I saying am. emulators exist, <laughs> and they're readily available, and you can get all the games for free. But I'm def. I'm not saying yeah. you should get one because it's technically illegal. Also, all of the SNES classics are sold out now. I believe in a lot of places. So good luck again, Adam. <sighs> Any. I'm, well. Yeah. So yeah. So now yeah, we should transition. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm not done. Okay. And then they were like, and then and then the the, the same people who were making the Switch came back That's over, a big and, screw. and they were like, oh man, it's JPEG there. <laughs> And they were like, "Oh, well, here's the thing. Uh, you're you're coming out with this 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 item that sells has 30 NES, cl- you know, classic NES games on it for eighty dollars." And they're like, "Yep, well, on our system, which is going to be the main flagship." 
product for Nintendo for the foreseeable future. Uh, in order to get the 30 games, you're going to have to spend $150. Well, why would anybody do that? Why wouldn't they just get our thing? Exactly. That's why we're shutting you down. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, do you mind if we do the same thing with the SNES? You know what? Yeah, the exact same thing we did with the NES. You know, where we where we come up with a with a, a product that has games on it that you wouldn't, that, you, know, you know, for eighty dollars that would be more expensive on your thing, and it would be a direct competitor to your to the service that you're providing with your eShop or whatever the fuck it's called. Do you mind if we come up with that with the, the NES version with the SNES version, which is arguably even going to be more popular? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Just make sure you don't make a lot of them so Adam Facey can't fucking have one. <laughs> and that's how that, that, that whole conference went. And then they're like, hey, well, let's make another Mario game and not have Wild Luigi in it. Or whatever the fuck. Wild Luigi. Uh, so, yeah, so that's the whole thing. They're coming out with NES Classic. It has 30 games on it. I SNES is one of my favorite consoles. It might be my favorite console of all time. you think I'd be excited about this because it has Earthbound, Final Fantasy III, which is actually Final Fantasy VI, uh, has Star Fox 2, the game that never actually came out, so I don't know how they how they got that. The original Star Fox, Kirby, Super Mario, uh, Donkey Kong Country, among many others, Super Punch-Out. Really good games. A lot of them are look really, really cool. First thing first, it's sold out already. You can't get one in town anywhere. In fact, I don't think you can get one on planet Earth. You'd have to march an army into the Nintendo headquarters and fucking steal one. You can get one on eBay for like thirty grand, probably. Oh man, thirty grand for an eighty dollar fucking plug and play console that has games on it that you could you could have got from an emulator in the nineties. Yeah. And here's yeah. the other thing: I already have most of the games that I've been collecting. Oh, that's disturbing. Is that you? Yep. Where's the ladder? <laughs> yeah, really though. Um, I already have most of the games. The only ones I don't have is obviously Star Fox Two. Again, the game that mm. doesn't exist. And, it's probably uh, Star and Fox Earth, Adventures. And Earthbound. It, it, well, there's not Star Fox... What's, what's the Star Fox the game that came out recently? Star Fox Zero? Is it Star Fox Zero, that's right. Yeah, so Star Fox Zero is heavily inspired by Star Fox 2. A lot of the same concepts were used in both games. I don't know why they're... Re- I, I know why, because they want people to buy this fucking yeah. product. The whole thing is just fucking stupid, because Nintendo's like, yeah, we... They can't even make enough Switches! The main console is coming out the best-selling console of all time. Nintendo's most ever successful console. More successful than the NES, the SNES, the 64, the GameCube, That's the That's Apple's fault, though, Adam. What? That's Apple's fault. Yeah, and they can't make enough of them. And then so they were like, well, let's make another thing that we can't make enough of. What? What is going on over at Nintendo? Are they just fucking sucking methane into their fucking assholes? It's... It is causing them to lose fucking brain cells? I have no idea what the fucking planning has got like what what anybody does over at nintendo so if you want to pick up one of these snes things what you do is you march your ass on over to best buy and you get a computer and <laughs> uh, then you uh you get an emulator and it's all good and uh, i do recommend you do that uh and you can up, use man. netflix uh in fact i'm pretty sure there's a company out there that makes a uh, usb snes controller so it's a classic NES controller, yeah. and you can plug it into your USB, so you, you can go. play emulators with it. Don't recommend you do that. Again, legal. Can't do it. I'm just saying, the option's it. there. The uh... option's <laughs> there if you want it. Do it. I'm, I definitely don't recommend you do it, because it is illegal. Then you'll be able to play PC games, too. You get it. You not only get this SNES and the NES and everything else Nintendo's ever made, but you get a PC. It's a two-in-one. PCs are a two-in-one console package. At least two. Obviously, you can get PS2 emulators, <laughs> PS2 emulators, all that. Well, here's the thing, Roy. Mm-hmm. Every time I go to the store and I say, "Can I have a PC?" They're like, "Nah, man. Nintendo didn't make enough of them. We gotta." Right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm like, "Oh man." Okay. So you're intentionally. Has your man the never heard of time. a fucking leash? Yeah. Hold uh, on to something. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to depressurize the room, but I'm not doing that. What the fuck is wrong? It's it's all on me, Sandy. Don't worry about it. Does this a space? I'm telling. Why you. is Jupiter purple? It's not Jupiter. It's Hellion. What is this? Exactly okay, like, like this is a dumb question. Does is it, does is ha- that is Hellion real? It's a system in this game, and no, I don't think so. So okay. does Hellion have the planet? You know, have have moons like uh, Lamed and Falypso and. Uh, uh, yeah, it's got all kinds of the systems where you make fun of the thing that it is. I love how this game is about like going to asteroids and mining, and Aaron's dying, like climbing up imaginary ladders and shit. Like you can't even you can't even make it to the mining because you like you just die for some dumb weird game reason. That's how space <laughs> is, Roy. <laughs> we also didn't talk, 
We also didn't talk about the the, the Inhumans trailer. Right? Oh, that, oh, I thought we were going to that next. Yeah, the plenty world's of time. most realistic dog. Yeah, best best yeah, dog fucking... ever. It doesn't even. The funny thing is, it doesn't even look. Twilight like, eat your heart out. It's not even like it's like a CG big dog that looks like it should be a little dog. It's just a little dog closer to the camera. Yeah, Here's it's the thing. Like... Lockjaw. Lockjaw is supposed to be like a uh, like a boxer. Or, or a bulldog, rather. That's okay. Like, so the, okay. So the size of a car. supposed to be like that. Okay, yeah, sure. He's supposed to be big. He's also supposed Sweet. to look like a dog. He's not supposed yeah. to look like fucking reboot rejects. <laughs> the, uh, it, so the Inhumans trailer is not particularly great, and the line delivery scene, like look, Ewan Rian is a good actor, right? He's in Misfits. He was terrific. He was in Game yep. of Thrones. He was terrific. Yeah, uh, I thought it was David Hasselhoff. The uh, and like like he's he can really act. The delivery that they selected for the trailer, it's like when they had, uh, who's the guy who plays Rob Stark? Uh, uh, Richard Madden, right? It's like Richard Madden in the Cinderella trailer. When they, I have to find her. Yeah. It's like they picked the dumbest sounding line from the whole movie. Yeah. And I feel like that's what they did with this. But, here's the thing, it reminds me of Supergirl. The Supergirl trailer, when that first came out, looked like garbage. And that tr- the show turned out to be really good. So, I'm, like, hoping... That this is going to be equally good because I want things to be good. That's yes, better. It's better if things are good than like we make fun of, like like this talk might shit, be this like, might be Marvel's first actual flop. The it might be. I hope it isn't. It looks like feces. So it, it really does not look good though. Yeah, you, you that's, mentioned you just very briefly you just mentioned Rob Stark. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Rob yeah. Stark. He was also in. Uh, no, he wasn't. That was uh, the guy. Was it Rob? Was Rob Stark in uh, John Wick or was it? Uh, no, that was that was. Uh, Theron. What's his name? Gray Alfie Gray. Allen? Yeah, yeah. Theon. Isn't it Gray Theon Gray Anyway, Gray just John Wick. I was looking for a segue. Uh, the guy who played uh, the fucking Russian dude in that, uh, Michael... Um, Sorry, Nitz- with the first film? Like, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, So yeah. the guy who played uh, Michael... Nitz- Nickvist. Nickvist. He uh, died on Wednesday. Huh. What? Yeah, he was He was like 60. Damn it, John. Uh, he was Swedish, too, apparently. I, thought, yeah. I genuinely thought he was Russian, because he could very good actor. Oh, he was the guy that uh, William H. Macy died too. He was the main guy in the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo original movies. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He was one of Sweden's top actors. Um, he was really good. He was a good actor because he, he really did play the part of Vigo in, in fucking John Wick. So, yeah, I said that he's dead. No, no, uh, sorry, we're, we're going back to Inhumans. Oh, yeah. Like, I, 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 it just, it really doesn't look particularly You're compelling up, to me. Are you upside uh, down? Is gravity about to happen? Probably, I don't know. The, the, there's a lot of talk about oh, how low budget it looks, and that's definitely true. Um, I'm not grabbing that. That's a trap. But and this is the thing, like I, I had <sighs> forgotten. I had either forgotten or I didn't know. I hope it's forgotten because I, I like to think that I didn't not know. But this is an ABC show. It's not one of the Netflix shows. And yep. then it all started to come together. Like, yeah, like but mentally, it, you know, you learn something and it kind of retcons your life. Yeah, but at it, the same time, Agents of Shield is good. Yeah, the the new Agents of Shield stuff is actually pretty top. That's true. It's taken them four seasons, but, but they figured it, it out. Yeah, this is a good point. Yeah, so this is so we might have like a bit of like an evolution thing going on here. This starts out good movie with um, <laughs> evolution. Yeah. Good point, Adam. <laughs> Which kind of good movie. It kind of makes me wonder though, like yeah. why the Inhumans in a- Agents of Shield show there are Inhumans in it. Yeah. yeah. They they're created from the the Cree like the crystals left behind, or some like artifacts left behind from the Cree in the first Avengers movie is yeah. what turns a lot of people into Inhumans. That wasn't the Cree. That, yeah, that wasn't the Cree. The Cree were in uh, Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy. Of the Galaxy. Uh, that oh, was the so, the Chitari. The Chitari. That's who it is. Uh, the Chitari crystals that were left behind. Uh, whatever the mm-hmm. name is. Yeah, on. yeah, I'm with you. The that ten- turns Tetragon, isn't it? And uh, it's Terrigen. Terrigen. Terrigen crystals uh, turns them into Inhumans, but in the trailer for the Inhumans series, it looks like so oh what happened? It looks so, like they're just Inhumans in space or something. Yeah. So so what happened in the comics to make a very 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 long story very short? Uh, the Kree, because this in, the Chitari didn't exist in the original Marvel universe before the movie, the Avengers movie. The Kree uh, wanted to make you know we're we're experimenting with life on Earth. I think. This is all very bad. No, no, sorry, it wasn't the Kree. It was the um, the the uh, the Celestials. I think is what they're called. Anyway, the Celestials were experimenting with life on Earth. They made a, bu- a couple of different organisms. They made humans, 
Uh, they made mutants, and then they made Inhumans, and they stuck all the Inhumans on the moon for reasons that I can't get into because it's just accept that. Uh, uh-huh. And people can turn into Inhumans by either being born as an Inhuman or getting exposed to this Tetragon gas or whatever the fuck. Because that's how the current Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, who's fantastic, the uh, the first Muslim American, you know, Mar- like first Muslim superhero to feature in a in a Mar- in a Marvel or DC comic book, uh, was uh, I thought She Hulk was. No, She Hulk's not Muslim. Why did I think that? I don't know. She's not even close. She's a. She's... I feel like someone told me that. <clears throat> anyway, someone um, was wrong. Anyway, she that's how she became an Inhuman. She got exposed to this. She drinking gas, and it turned her into, like, a... Uh, it kind of tur- gave her, like, stretch powers. So she can change her... Oh, she really? can stretch her to her power, like, her, her her form. She can grow and shrink and that sort of stuff. And she can change her own density. So she can, like... if When she grows, she can become super dense, like, beat the shit out of a dude with a giant fist. Why does she have to become dense? That's the part of... Like, I can grow, and, like... I don't... Well, she, what it is is she has... Perfect control over her... Uh, oh, like form. Okay, yeah. so just all malleable yeah. form. As opposed thing. to flaccid. So she, so she like, can turn her hair blonde. Technically, I don't think her the limits of her powers have really been explored. Okay, sure, because I yeah. think I think it's, like, a lot of, like, mental blocks in her head. But she, theoretically, she could be able to, like, turn into, like, animals and stuff, I think. I can't remember okay, yeah, if yeah. that's been resolved or not. But a lot of people were speculating, because I haven't read her comics in a while. So, Aaron, are you going to go out and try and find your lost fucking shit? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm just shooting around now in space. So yeah, so humans not great, You're about to try and but hopefully better that than scene it looks. from Interstellar. The um, <laughs> but I coming I, in I, hot. Oh, shit. Coming in so, hot. Coming in hot. The real hope it really is Interstellar at this point. The the real hope I have for this, and I think it's probably <laughs> the real hope that Aaron has for this too, is I hope the continuity is good. Like, I hope this ties in with the MCU really well. I hope they don't fuck it up. If you look out to the left, if you look out to the top, if you look out to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I really hope that it ties in with the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show. Yeah, not in, it, in, in, to it, some in a way because, that's not offensive and terrible. Yeah, because <laughs> it, it is an ABC show, so I don't see why it wouldn't. Like, even yeah. Peggy Carter, or Agents, Agent, Agent Carter, or whatever the hell that show was, that tied in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as well. Yeah. Like, it was subtle, but it was like... It also tied in with a lot of the Marvel movies, because, like, uh, Peggy Carter, like, that, that whole show is about setting up S.H.I.E.L.D., like, creating that organization. And then you also get to see her in, like, Captain America and and in Ant-Man. Yeah, Yeah. if the continuity is not tight, I'm going to be very upset. Yeah, so I don't see why they wouldn't... I don't know. I hope at some point they tie everything together. Like, even if it's just... Ant-Man, yeah, she was in the beginning. Infinity Infinity War Part 2 or something like that, or whatever they end up calling it. Like, even just have the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Have Daisy and... and, Or Quake. Have Quake and, like, like... I guess not Coulson because you'd have to explain why he's still alive in the movies. But have just like just have him show up in a scene, yeah, like doing stuff somewhere. Or you could even make like right, like have a, just a scene of them like helping civilians as Thanos rains hell down on the cities and be like, yeah. "We gotta help," you know, like Agent Coulson, but like we gotta help these guys. It'd be a good nod. Um, yeah. I mean, I'd almost like them to be like just have Coulson walk in and everyone be like, like, "Oh, hey," and he's like, "Hey, guys," and it's just like they don't explain anything. With the exception of Daredevil, like the Netflix that. Marvel shows do a really good job of presenting themselves in universe. I will, th- and, and Daredevil does a good job, like because the Defenders are coming up, so does okay. Uh, it's I think it's going to tie itself in a bit more. And to be fair, yeah. da- and Daredevil was kind of like the first Netflix show; they're kind of testing the water. That's I think. true. Yeah. So I don't. And I, that that might be actually why they didn't want to have it too connected because like if this flops, but also they messed up a couple things, which yeah. I didn't particularly like. Um. Um. I was gonna. I was reading a comic uh, the other day, worried that had uh, both Captain Marvel and Wolverine playing cards in Avengers mm. Towers, and uh, they're playing, and all of a sudden it's like, so who win in a fight, cavemen or or astronauts? <laughs> and they're like, Wolverine's like, why would you ask? And it's like, well, at the end of there was an episode of the fifth season of Angel, and they supposedly <laughs> call out that, and it's like, when well, they ask the question, so who would win, and they have a big debate about it. Yeah, I thought it was really. That's funny. a really good and call. What, out what was that in? Uh, in Angel season, oh wait, are you asking what it was in or what? Yeah, the no, what was what was the it was reference in a, it was from? In a, it was in a comic book. Oh, okay. Yeah, because so I, I wouldn't put it past like Jed to put that in. Yeah, exactly. Shield or yeah, to, yeah, to put it in a show. Yeah, the um, 
Jed's really good, actually. Yeah, we don't really have a lot much to talk about. I mean, apparently aliens are in GTA Five or whatever. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's like Rockstar have been carrying off the back of Frontier with introducing Thargoids into Elite, but for some reason, all of a sudden, they were like, oh, yeah, by the way, we're going to do something with that alien mystery in GTA now. Or maybe uh, it's just going to slowly become Saints Row. Uh, no, That's they, what I'm hoping for. They just straight up yeah. introduced yeah. aliens. What? Saints Row 4 was all right. You think uh, we're going to get alien weapons and cars now? Uh, I don't know. It was just it was one of the gun running missions is... Uh, it's like, you know you know how the, how the missions go. We've been doing a lot of them. It's like, go, go collect the supplies. Exactly. And uh, it's, you know, you just go to this location. And the location you go to is a crashed UFO. And there's a bunch of, like, aliens around and, like, government people... And uh, there's a couple of aliens there as well. And in the video that I saw, the, the guy just mows them down and gets the stuff and leaves again. I like how that, like, like how, how did the war between Earth and the aliens? There's like, well, some dude <laughs> rolled up in a fucking up armored. Uh, yeah, some dude Mustang. in an APC with rockets on it. Yeah. Fucking rolled up, shot everyone around the crash site, stole the fucking agents' guns, didn't even do anything with the spaceship, and then fucked off back to an underground bunker. Yeah. So I, it, yeah. Aaron, you got you recently in the because we play me and Aaron oh, and Sandy uh, play GTA Five online together, and Aaron recently got like the the fucking Street Hawk bike. Hell yeah! And that thing is fucking crazy because it like you, like you're driving along and all of a sudden like the wings pop out and you go basically vertical and you shoot like what like five hundred six hundred meters in the air. Yeah, you go pretty high. That's it's it's awesome. That's a sweet ass. So you were, you were sco- we were scooting around Mount Chiliad the other day. And, yeah, uh, on that it was pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, you know, I guess they're 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 trying to go balls to the wall with it. I don't have enough energy to go anywhere apparently. Um, with introducing stuff because like they got like Night Rider or a kid or whatever type car. They got the Street Hawk bike, and it I don't know. They're it, it seems like they're kind of throwing any sort of realism out the window. I guess yeah. they kind of did that with four as well with Ballad of Gay Tony. I'm uh, I'm waiting uh, for uh, um, for Airwolf now. <laughs> Super overpowered uh, Apache helicopter, or whatever it was. Yeah, I can't. Remember. Was it a was it a fucking Huey? I can't remember what it was. I think it was an Apache, something like that. It wasn't. A, it definitely wasn't an Apache. Well, it was like an, I thought it was an attack helicopter of sorts. No, they turned. What they did is they turned what should be like a passenger aircraft into yeah. like a souped-up attack helicopter. Because it oh, eventually, okay. it it retired and became a search and rescue chopper like the, that went down. The actual helicopter. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's actually tragic. Don't leave. You don't get it's out like the door Griffin again. Griffin or a Lynx or something, isn't it? Yeah, we're not even Lynx. Because it was supposed to be really the fast. And Lynx is really fast. Is that basketball net? Uh, I guess so. Wait, basketball. You play that weird Fucking game they play in Firefly. The, uh... Just turn the gravity off and have it not Michael Fassbender. Get a bike. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I mean, like, I don't... Like, did any of you guys play the Ballad of Gay Tony, like, multiplayer or anything? No. No. Because there was a sniper rifle they added to the game that was so fucking overpowered, it was ridiculous. Was it the one that was like fired explosive rounds? Uh, pretty well. I like I GTA that, Four funny. had way better like damage physics. So like uh, whenever you crash the car, it would, like cave the front in a lot more than it does in Five. So you could just shoot cars with this gun, and whatever wherever you shot them, it, like it was just gone. Yeah, you could shoot it, the front, and it would just, like, smoosh the whole hood into the car. The first time Achievement Hunter ever did one of their Let's Play videos in uh, in, in GTA 4, uh, they were in, they were fucking around in the airport, and uh, Mike, I think Jeff found the sniper rifle, and, like, Ray and Jack are on a motorcycle driving toward them, and he just shoots them off, and he just blows the shit out of the out Yeah, of it was a sweet gun. Right? And you could, like, shoot telephone poles or whatever, light poles, and they would just shoot off into the distance. I'm still great. waiting for like swords. I can't wait for them to add like because I know there's like that cow that cavalry dagger, but I want them to add like an actual like fuck off katana or okay. long sword or something like that. That'd be awesome. That'd be sweet. I uh, I don't have I don't have any turning abilities. This yeah. game is dead great, stick. Aaron. Yeah, dead stick. Yep. Why are we playing this? Because uh, it's interesting. Is it's it not interesting enough to talk about? Is it? I think so, yeah. It's kept me entertained for Aaron, the last 45 Aaron, minutes. Over the course of this game, you've managed to get the same ship three times. The first time you face through it on <laughs> the ladder. Can see the, you can see the, the gas time. It's pretty funny when you think about it. The ship isn't actually moving. It's just the planet just kind of going... Something is very uh, really going wrong. What's happening with the lights? Does anyone know what's happening? I don't know. I guess it's broken. I don't know. 
The What's even time, flashing? I don't or understand. It's, a, it's, a, it's probably a bug. I don't know. The second time you you hopped out of the ship while I was going to play it, and the third time you broke it because you ran out of fucking gas. Yeah. You gotta be careful with that thing. That thing is gonna punch you in the face if you're not Yeah, really, though. Did you know when I was in junior high, we used to have this thing... We, we used to have lockers for our shoes because at the school I went to, you used to not, be, you weren't able to wear your outside shoes indoors. Uh, was a dojo, Tommy 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 <laughs> pretty much, Tommy yeah. Dad. Except it's no fun. Uh, and so I had like, but I had, a, game. I had a lot of shoes when I was in junior high. So like my shoe locker was like jam packed. The uh, it's like Star Citizen because I was into skateboarding. About? Half of being into skateboarding is buying fucking shoes, right? And He's so, wearing like, a skateboard. You can never tell. Uh, so I like had all my like shoes stuffed in the locker, and then like one day I opened them up, and all the shoes fell out and uh, hit me in the face, and I like broke my glasses and shit. It was. Just, oh man! So and on that up. note, yeah, it probably ends. So thank yep. you very much for listening to this yeah. mess of a podcast. We'll be back next week. Fine. Hopefully, something's about? happened. Um, yeah, something to talk about. Maybe, 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 hopefully, maybe Michael Bay, like, Transformers 5 will do really poorly at the box office. And they're like, when does it come out? Fuck, I don't know. Who cares? Honestly. I thought it was out already. It might be out already. It probably is out already. Oh. It's probably not. It's I actually just... probably out by, the, by, the, by this. Hopefully it's out for the critics, because I want to see what it has on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, 14. Really? I believe it's 14. Uh, yeah, it was, I think it was a 16 or something the last time I looked. But, Sweet. Uh, it's not high. And I don't think that's one of those movies, like, it, I don't think it has the, the Batman v Superman symptom where, like, it has a way higher audience rating than the critic rating. I'm guessing I think it does, actually. Because... I thought it was, like, the audience rating was, like, 60 or something. Okay, then never mind. Um, because China, I guess. Audi- the audience score is 53, which is the very least substantially okay. higher. Kind of that's a 50-50 shot. So if you're an audience member and this is a representative group, you have a 50-50 chance of liking this movie. Congratulations. Yeah. Cool. Mm. All right, well, let's end before uh, I run out of things to do. Can you just pack it into the planet? I was trying to move, but it wouldn't let me. It's, uh, okay, now I got some RCS. I hate RCS. moving in games. It's, like, the worst part. You hate moving? Is that, like, largely... Like, Isn't large that, like, <laughs> all you do? Isn't that the whole point of games? Rory spent the first... Well, clearly not. Rory <laughs> spent the first nine hours of Metal Gear Solid 1 as a kid rooted to the same spot on principle <laughs> alone. I mean, what do you do in Dota, Rory? Or League, or whatever you play. One of them click games. I stopped playing that. I had to oh. stop playing that. It was, too much moving. It was right? driving me nuts. Like, too much driving moving. me nuts, because you took 15 fucking minutes to get out of the car once, because you wanted to quit a match. <laughs> piece of shit. League has been around moving. for too long. Can't stop, won't stop. For me to get decently it. competitive at it against other players. The, uh, well, it's kind of falling off now. It's not nearly as popular as it was like two year, like a year or so ago. Nobody's talking about it anymore. It's still really popular, though. Yeah, go on Twitch. It's always number one. Yeah, it's oh, like one of yeah. those one of those games where you run around and shoot. Well, the the Twitch, thankfully, well, like the num- I think Night Blue is like the number two streamer on Twitch. So he and he plays uh, League and plus Riot Games is who's, like who's number num- one. Probably like Riot Games, I think. Oh, the, uh, would it not be Rain Arvaeus? He's not even close. No, oh. no, definitely not. Anyway, not that's it. Roll. Uh, no, they're they're. They're up there, but they're still not close to number one when they're when they're on. All right. Yep. Well, on that bombshell, I think yep. it's time to end. Thank you very much for listening. Good night. Thanks, Clarkson. Mm-hmm.